brain. It's making something new. So, do you want to know what's inside this hazardous disaster danger zone? Well, I did. My name is Brandon Kidavery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Annihilation. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click that little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Annihilation. It is directed by Alex Garland. Uh, he directed the film Ex uh, Machina, which came out in 2015. And I love that movie very much, except for the ending. I felt that the ending let me down and it just did not live up to the hype. But, you know, if you feel differently, that's OK, because I know a lot of people um, did enjoy that movie a lot more than I did, or at least the ending. Uh, now, this movie Annihilation is being based based off of a book called Annihilation as well. I saw it being based off the first film in a trilogy of books, first one being called um, Southern Reach. Um, and I did not read that or the other book as well, but it is being based off that. It stars uh, the people that I noted the most was uh, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson. Of course, I know Tessa Thompson from Creed, and she was also Valkyrie and Thor Ragnarok, which came out last year. Um, Natalie Portman, of course, she did Black Swan that came out a number of years ago and won the Oscar. Uh, I believe she won the Oscar for uh, Best uh, Actress in a Leading Role. That movie was fantastic. Uh, I loved it from beginning to end. So uh, I'm a fan of Natalie Portman, didn't really like her in the Star Wars prequels, but, you know, I was really interested in seeing this movie because I am also really into science fiction and things like that. And I'm a very curious person, you know, so when I see the trailers like this to where there's like this hazardous, dangerous zone and this they're advertising it as like, OK, you know, people going in, but they're not able to come out. And we're trying to figure out what's going on. And you're seeing Natalie Portman walk through the, the wilderness with like uh, an assault rifle and she's taking things things out you know that really did intrigue me i'm like okay you know i'm on board with this you know but uh well I, I'll, I'll save that just for a second but um for the most part i really did enjoy the film something that i noticed early on is i was like wow i think this uh film passed the uh the betchel test uh um uh, named after allison betchel the Betchel test, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that right. And what the Betchel test is, it's a test that's in films that's been in Hollywood for some time to where you can have a scene to where it is only women in the scene and the women are talking for an extended amount of time. I forgot where I tried to look up exactly how long it takes, but I couldn't find it. But it's women in the scene, no men, and they can't talk about men either. So nothing but women in the scene and the women are talking about no, they're not talking about a man or, or about any type of love love interest or anything they're just talking about other things and i think that the film passed this on a, a number of times and that was like one of the first thing i noticed in the film now early on uh things were a little wonky for me maybe the first 10 or 15 minutes because things are bouncing back and forth i was unable to understand everything that was going on but at the same time i did not find myself attached to the characters or the story i just really did not care what was going on things really picked up for me when they actually got into to the hazardous danger zone and when it was going inside and kind of describing you know what the um what the um the scientists were discovering you know through uh its inception of i guess crash landing on earth um it, this has a very a strong cast like i said with natalie portman and tessa thompson um there are five main uh female leads in this film um i think they all did a great job um, also, this film kind of lets you know early on who survives or who doesn't per se. And that's not a necessary a complaint, but at the same time, it does take away from the mystery. And there is a lot of mystery in this film. That is one of the best things about it. When they're in this zone, you're just kind of just like they already know what they're in for. Um, but when they're inside this zone, just trying to figure out what is going on, why it's going on and just trying to figure everything out. That is that was one of the most intriguing things 
things to me just the mystery of it and there's also a nice uh, horror element to this film as well um, a lot of nasty images some things that will make you kind of turn your seat and kind of hold your stomach and cover up your eye like this I mean some of the designs from the creatures uh, I found very fascinating uh, some of them I found hideous they had a great design to them but at the same time I was like oh my god that's nasty I don't want to look at that right now that's disgusting but at the same time that's one of the reasons why I praise the film because you don't want to just be sitting there you know monotone just kind of stoic just looking at the screen I mean this film does kind to um, strike emotions out of you and I think that um, it did a great job there whether I was kind of swarming in my seat or not um, so the horror element was great I love the cast of the women um, I was very intrigued by everything um, and there, I like how they spread everything apart by having one uh, female, one woman being a biologist, the other one an anthropologist, a psychologist, a surveyor, and a linguist. And that's kind of, you know, seems kind of smart to me when you're kind of in this foreign territory, just trying to make the best understanding of what's going on because you need a biologist, you need somebody that can read different languages, you need psychologists to be able to you know, decipher if everybody is staying sane or going insane or becoming a lunatic. So I like the balance there, but um, it's really hard to talk about without spoiling the film. But really what comes down to it is since there is so much mystery behind this and you don't know what's going on in this hazardous zone, what makes the film, whether it's great or bad to me, is if the ending pays off because there are so many unknowns and you just want to know what is going on, you know, why is this happening? And so you really want to know if it pays off. And in my opinion, the film does not pay off. I was very disappointed with the ending. I feel extremely let down by um, everything that went on. Uh, I feel a little bit cheated. Um, and I don't think that that's fair. Um, the film started out OK, then it got really, really good. And you're just so, you know, eager to find out what's going on. And then they just kind of like went completely left, um, not just with the storytelling, with the storytelling, the characters and also the CGI elements of this film, like the last 10 minutes of this film maybe 10 to 15 minutes i'm just kind of looking like what the hell is going on i think i have an idea of what's going on after i left the screening i kind of stood out in the hallway a little bit i didn't want to seem like a creeper but i kind of like strike the conversation with some random people and then this other guy you know like did y'all really understand what was going on and then this other guy came and we were all talking and i was like okay i understood this i understood that and he was like yeah and, you know this happened here and that's why this turned into this right here and that's why at the very end of the movie this there was a reaction like this but it wasn't a reaction like that early on in the film and i was like okay I understand that. That makes a little sense. Um, but at the same time, I just still um, didn't like it. I'm not saying that it's a horrible film. Uh, I, I know that there were going to be some people walking out of this um, that, you know, really loved it. I will say this. If you was not looking forward to this film, you probably don't want to go see it. If you were looking forward to it or just didn't know, still go see the film. So if you was really looking forward to it, go see it. If you was on the fence, go see it. But this is just something to where you was like, I don't know. I need to hear the opinion of other people. Uh, this probably won't be for you. But hey, you know, that's just my opinion. Then again, you may like the film. If I had to rate it out of a one out of ten. Um, and I also want to say, guys, the effects was great. And the, the music and the score was great, too. Uh, just that ending really let me down big time. If I had to rate Annihilation out of a one out of ten, I would give it a six out of ten. Yes, a six out of ten. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Annihilation or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there at Bookmark It. And also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Annihilation, directed by Alex Garland. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.